Hey guys, how's it going? Spinosaurus the King here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Jurassic World Dominion having another delay due to the coronavirus in Malta, and also that Dr. Ian Malcolm and Dr. Henry Wu's first scene will be shot, and I think in either UK or Malta. So, from what we know, Dr. Henry Wu and I think Ian Malcolm are in a scene together in this mansion, because in that video that B.D. Wong took, it kind of looked like it was some sort of mansion background, but... I don't know what exactly what we can expect to see with the first Dr. Henry Wu and Ian Malcolm scene, but we do know for sure that Dr. Henry Wu is definitely up to no good in this movie like he always is. And my good friend Patrick Kawan made a theory that Henry Wu and Biosyn and Jen go to that mansion where Lex and Tim live to get information on Site B, and maybe Ian Malcolm comes back and he's possibly either he lives there or he's going to visit his uh, those his friends or grandchildren i don't know exactly who they are but i think they're, they're all friends and maybe henry and ian have a conversation and ian is like you know for sure against henry due to henry Wu causing a lot of trouble especially with those hybrids he made known as the indominus rex and the interraptor but yeah maybe like i said since biosyn is possibly going to isla sorna in this film maybe um henry Wu and biosyn and engine are all teaming up or they're going against each other but maybe they're going to this mansion to get information on an Isla Sorna. That could be the, what's going on in the scene. I don't know for sure, but it's a possibility. If Patrick's theory turns out to be true, that would be pretty awesome because I think this would make a cool scene. Now, apparently Sam Neill, Chris Pratt, and Bryce Dallas Howard won't be traveling to Malta due to a number of cases of the coronavirus in this country. Man, I will say I don't like the coronavirus at all, except for the fact that if it weren't for COVID-19, maybe I wouldn't have started YouTube or met my best friend, which is Patrick Wan. He's amazing. Make sure you subscribe and follow him on Instagram. So, I do like COVID-19 just for those reasons, and those reasons only. Also, some other bad news is that apparently four of the crew members who were working on set of Jurassic World Dominion ended up getting the virus, which is not good, and I hope they recover fast. It is great that they went back to filming in July, but the filmmakers and actors still have to be very careful due to this deadly virus going around and it's been killing a lot of people. However, Universal Pictures and Amblin Entertainment still has a plan to, to proceed filming in Malta from the end of August till September in, in Malta, but to proceed with caution, just so they can prevent any further delays of Jurassic World Dominion since there's already been a big delay from the months of April all the way up to July, I think about all April, all of May. They had a delay they had like a delay for three months that's a big delay right there and universal pictures does look forward to filming the next part of jurassic World dominion in malta which is an amazing country and i think i think it'll be a great new uh filming location as well now i hope universal pictures will tell us within the next couple months if jurassic World dominion is still going to be released on june 11th of 2021 even though the pandemic caused a major delay in filming if it weren't for the virus, they definitely would have been done filming by now because I think they were set to film from the months of um, pretty much all of uh, March all, and they'd be done filming by July, I'm pretty sure. But I mean, if they can finish filming by, you know, d December or January and release a trailer in either, I don't know, November, December, or possibly January, that would make us fans really excited. I honestly hope we can see this movie come out on the scheduled release date and for a trailer one to be released in, like I said, November, December, or January. I think it's still possible, as long as they're able to keep filming. But I really feel I'm in this next scene that is currently being filmed right now with Dr. Henry Wu and Dr. Ian Malcolm is a scene that's either going to be how Patrick Kawan described it, or possibly even just a court scene with Ian Malcolm speaking against Injin and Dr. Henry Wu. That could be a pretty cool scene. Also, I will say that this movie seems like it's going to be the best one ever made in the Jurassic Park franchise since all the news we've gotten from Colin Trevorrow, Jurassic Outpost, Jurassic Park, Saga, a cinematic universe on Instagram. Make sure you follow him, by the way, because he's a super close friend of mine. I've known him for over two years now. And knowing, I hope he sees this video because uh, if you do, what's up, man? Like, yo, he's, he's such an awesome guy. You got to check out his Instagram. He's got a lot of followers, too, and he deserves it for all his hard work. And of course, Jurassic World fandom, since he has, a, since apparently he has a connection with one of the producers on set in Jurassic World Dominion. Now, if he knows Frank Marshall, that's a huge connection right there. But 
even with all this news we got with you know no high risen Jurassic World Dominion, Jurassic World Dominion is going to go into open source. It's going to be about humans coexisting with dinosaurs. The original cast is coming back. Isla Sorna is possibly well. It's coming back and uh, like we don't know for sure if it's actually going to be appearing in the movie, but we do know Isla Sorna is going to be involved somehow in this movie, whether it's mentioned or they, they go there or it's a flashback, one or the other. It is involved somehow, and of course, dinosaurs being loose on the mainland and snow scenes in Jurassic World Dominion, and possibly the return of the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus if they go back to Isla Sorna, and apparently the Chickenotosaurus, Therizinosaurus, and Dakota Raptor, Pyroraptor, and Demetrodon are going to be in this film, cloned by Biosyn. Well, I don't know about the Spinosaurus. I mean, if they make a new Spinosaurus clone and make it look like the 2021, I'd rather see that than, than, than them showing the, you know, the, the 2001 Spinosaurus and the new design, which I, I know they would never do. I personally just hope they don't show the new Spinosaurus at the end of the day. I really think they should just show the engine one, which is the the Spinosaurus we're all introduced to, and we all love that one. It's personally my favorite design, and it always will be. I mean, if Biosyn makes, I mean, if they want to show both Spinosaurus in this movie and show, like, you know, maybe Giganotosaurus kills off the new, I mean, maybe Rexy kills off the new Spinosaurus. I don't know how that worked out, or, or and then maybe the in-gen Spinosaurus kills off the Bios and Giganotosaurus. I mean, that would be pretty badass, and I would love to see that. But you know, not everything on this list I just said is confirmed, unfortunately. If it was, my hopes would probably be really high up for this movie. But you know, the only things that are 100% confirmed is that Biosyn and the all the original cast is back. Well, I'm not sure if Lex and Tim are back, but I heard rumors that they're coming back. And that, you know, there will be no hybrids in this movie, thank God, and there will be new species in this movie because Colin Trevorrow did confirm that they will all appear in this movie which will be amazing but you know at the same time that doesn't mean this is going to be an amazing film because I'm going to be honest guys I was very disappointed with Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom for many reasons like Jurassic World they focused on T-Rex Raptors and a hybrid of those two you can you can imagine my disappointment and you can imagine probably why I rated 4 out of 10 and we didn't get to see any of the original cast so there you can just pretty much sum up my, you can just sum up my disappointment and then fallen kingdom came around the news the new species were killed off right away and you know they didn't get much screen time it was based off indoraptor rexy and blue once again and then ian malcolm only had a cameo so you can just imagine my disappointment <laughs> so i mean colin trevara and jay bayona did fuck up jurassic world and jurassic world fallen kingdom in my opinion i know some people like it i don't i personally enjoy I like I love the original three films like Jurassic Park, The Lost World, Jurassic Park, and Jurassic Park Three, and even Battle of Big Rock, which makes me hope that Colin Trevorrow will do a good job with Dominion because he did a good job with Battle of Big Rock. So, I mean, there's still his hopes that Dominion will be a good movie, but at the same time, I'm not gonna make myself insanely excited until you know we get a lot more news on this film. So, yeah. Hopefully the dinosaur battles in this movie will have at least, like, this is a two and a half hour movie. I'm expecting we'll see, hopefully, if it's two and a half, three hours, I would personally love to see five dinosaur battles if it's that long. If it's a two hour movie, I'd love to see at least four dinosaur battles, maybe five at the most. And I'd love to see all the fights range from one minute to two minutes long. Like, I think 15 to 30 second dinosaur battles is not enjoyable, in my opinion. <laughs> like, unless it makes sense, like, it's two dinosaurs, like, that or don't stand a chance against each other i get it but like let's pick fair bite f i mean fair fights in this movie to make the fans happy but anyways guys what are your thoughts on ian malcolm and henry wu's first scene currently being filmed and i'm pretty sure it's malta like maybe they already traveled to malta before the, this new virus happened or the it's you know, uk i heard rumors it might be uk as well but i'd love to hear your you know your opinions because i personally love these actors i think they're they're one of my favorites but tell me your thoughts guys in the comments down below. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank my YouTube team, Patrick Kawan, my 2D animator, David Church, my director, BK Go Crazy, my Spino buddy, Zane Chiller, my first friend of Jurassic Park community on Instagram, Anthony Ellis, my drawer, GEM as James Edward McDonald, my YouTube reactor, Spinosaurus Boy, my comedian, and Sarthak Sharma, my best friend in real life. Also, one last thing, if you're interested in Spinosaurus the King merchandise and other offers I'm selling here is what I'm currently selling on my Patreon. A t-shirt with one logo of my merchandise is $40 and with two pictures it's $50.
A five minute YouTube discussion video a day on your choice is $15 a month. Two deleted scenes a month of previous animations is $10 a month. A cameo of your very own character getting eaten by a dinosaur of your choice and upcoming animations is $5 a month. And cheapest is $1 a month donation to support my content here on YouTube. If you're interested in buying any from, from me, the link to my Patreon will be in the description. All people who join my Patreon will receive a shout out at the end of every video I upload. Last one is custom Photoshop pictures that I make for your, either your thumbnails on YouTube or just for pictures you would like to use. I charge $5 per every picture. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you're aware for my next video on YouTube. Leave a like, post a positive comment, rate and share my YouTube channel with all your friends and family. And please do the exact same for my YouTube team and have a great day, everyone.